What did somebody say that made you think? This person is out of touch with reality. I'm a nanny and I've worked for some rich clients. Old money. These people know nothing about reality. The best one I heard was this family I was working 12 hour days for. Good pay. Terrible schedule. At one point I was bouncing their baby on my knee and the mum goes being a mum isn't that hard. I don't know why other women complain about it so much. While her nanny is literally caring for the baby. I'd be great if she had a martini in her hand as she said it. Maybe if she had to ask about how much a banana costs. Showed a parent the security footage of her 8th grader hitting a teacher. She claimed the footage had been edited. Sigh. There's nothing that I hate more than parents that think their kid can do no wrong. Former roommate declared. I'm an only child. That means I don't have to be nice if I don't want to. So this is the person everyone think I am when I tell someone I didn't grow up with siblings. Had a co-worker that noticed an items tag said made in Vietnam. She said made in Vietnam? That's a place? I thought it was a war. Left double quotation mark. My wife, at the time an elementary school librarian, had a teacher ask her what's a Vietnam once when the Vietnam War was brought up. There are a lot of older fugly apartment buildings near the house I grew up in. My friend at the time that lived a very privileged lifestyle. $200 300 plus weekly weekend dinners with the family. Timeshares over the place. Skiing and snowboarding trips. Etc. She was like why would anyone want to live in these apartments? I would never I was like. People that live there don't have a choice. Why would people ever live in Liberia when they can live in Hawaii? Went to a super rich girl's house. She had had a baby two months prior. She had nannies coming in and out maids and a little house manager plus PAs etc. And she was bragging about how she was back at work so soon and how she doesn't know how people can stand doing nothing for so long. Edit. Many have been curious what she does for a living. I believe she comes from wealth but has married into a family that is literally an international household name. We're talking billions not millions. She was working on her own startup at the time of this event. Thanks for the upvotes and the cake. I wasn't expecting this to get this much attention. Edit. I know getting cake for your reddit anniversary is not an award. I still think a virtual slice of cake is a nice gesture so I'm thanking people anyway. I hope this is okay with the gatekeepers of gratitude. Peace. Peace hand sign. Yeah. Why don't they just get nannies and stop being poor? When my boss said my word is better than getting it in writing. I can think of several instances where they've promised something or given their word on only to later renege on the deal. Translation. My word is better for me. I heard someone yesterday suggest that children should operate heavy machinery to address supply shortages. Turns out that guy happened to be the frickin' prime minister. I read this and wondered which country this could possibly be where their leader would say something so stupid and realize that this is my country. Billionaires and multimillionaires singing Imagine while sitting in their gigantic mansions largely unaffected by the pandemic. We're all in the same boat. No. Nobody has ever died from rationing their insulin. Nobody my fill. That was an odd take of his. I'm still kinda puzzled over it. People have died doing almost anything. He didn't think they died from rationing something that costs hundreds of dollars per week though. You see. It's the diabetes that gets you. Not the insulin. S. Once got in an argument with a girl that people would rather die of starvation than eat something that's carcinogenic. I asked if she was seriously saying people would choose to starve to death over the course of a month than risk potentially developing cancer in a few years and she said yes. I asked if she'd ever gone an entire day without eating before or knew what that felt like. She hadn't. Mayo has she ever heard of the Donna party? Sophomore year of high school. In my biology class. This one girl got into a conversation about what causes the winter season with a teacher. And she goes. Winter happens because the sun turns cold. Right? Honestly. I'm still having trouble processing that one. And it's been 8 years. I was 16 years old. In driver's ed. And the teacher asks us an extra credit question. Why are there interstates in Hawaii? Some guy whose parents paid for his college tuition mentioned to a co-worker who has $107. 000 in student loans say he should be able to pay it off in 5 years. Co-worker makes $23 an hour on 58s. He can and it'll only take half of all the money he makes. As long as he doesn't waste it on frivolous little things like bills. My aunt is a bit into that. 
She's done really well for herself but has forgotten that not all of us are retired engineers who play the stock market for funsy as part time. She suggested Thanksgiving at my place one year, and I had to remind her that I lived in a two bedroom apartment and inviting around 15 people there wasn't going to work. Look at big shot here with two bedrooms. I was involved in a non-profit for women in my last city maybe two years back. My ex, we were 27 at the time, was from a rich area of the state, and the mean income for this area was $31,000. A teacher talked about how 500 plus kids in her school were homeless. Abs house seniors would pool their money together to get a hotel for days or weeks at a time. I remember telling my ex about it, and how awful that's gotta be to be 17 and living with 10 others in a hotel. He said they're stupid, if they had any brains, they'd buy a house so they could get equity. The hotel is just them throwing their money away and not getting anything from it. He was 100% stuck that these 17 year olds, with no addresses, who are minors, can apply and qualify for a mortgage. I fussed at him and don't regret it, because he is so out of touch with reality. Eventually he went on months later to say he talks down about other people and acts like he's better than everyone because he is better than everyone. Steven, you're duck. Edit to add, to clarify, he suggested the high schoolers should all buy a house, not my organization. Household income was about 10k higher than individual. His parents were loaded, so he never had to really pay for anything until after college. And even then he didn't have to pay for housing for the first 3 years of his career. And even still, 95% of his, nice, furniture and everything was given to him. It's very easy to brag about your 401k when you never had to allocate money towards rent, loans, etc. Steven, more like, my old boss was railing on me for placing an order late and getting charged more after missing the early bird special. When I had been reminding her consistently for at least 2 months, gradually increasing my urgency that she needed to make up her mind, she was yelling at me and then said, dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign might not seem like a lot to you but it is to me, this coming from the person who set my wage, signed my checks, owned 4 substantial homes, had millions of dollars worth of artwork, designer everything, etc. While I was living in a 250 square foot garden studio apartment with my partner, which flooded when it rained longer than 2 days, making her hundreds of thousands of dollars from sales, with no commission, whoa, I didn't realize I needed that rant, I would have had to walk away from her, who knows what would have come out of my mouth if that were me, your post says old boss, so glad you're not there anymore. Pretty much any time I see someone yelling at a Starbucks or other service employee, they come into a crowded shop, wave their big $5 bill around like a high roller, then yell at a 16 year old for making their coffee incorrectly, lame. If you find yourself to be one of the people yelling at service workers, fix your own problems before telling other people what to do. Whenever a disabled person shares their experience and a non-disabled person tells them how they can fix all of those problems. I live with chronic pain as a 26 year old and will for the rest of my life. The amount of older people who tell me that you don't know what pain is and it'll get better if you really believe it will make my eyes roll back so far into my head that I can see behind me. I've genuinely heard someone comment on a homeless person asking why they don't just get a home. How much can it be Michael? My aunt was bragging that her knee surgery cost her zero dollars because of Medicare. I said yeah. That kind of socialized medicine is nice. She the threatened to take me out back and beat my ass for saying that. I don't get the mental gymnastics it takes to be a let's go brandoner and happily accept farm subsidies and medicare coverage. Are those both not of the socialist variety? NASA can land on the sun at night time. I'm a 911 operator and had a man call 911 because the internet at the hotel he was staying at got disconnected. I told him it was not a police issue and he would have to talk to the hotel staff and or just wait for it to reboot. He responded, not a police issue, this is criminal. If I unplugged someone's life support, I sent that a crime. I got groped on a bus when I was at college and obviously was mega upset about the experience. Not long after two people who I thought were friends sent messages to each other I found out after they were shown to my by another friend. The one girl basically said that they thought it'd be the kind of person that would enjoy getting raped and went on to shoot talk me and joke about be being raped. Got away from them fast. What in the frick? 
I remember a while back I read a post about a man who refused to wipe his bum hole after number 2 because he believed no man should have anything touch him there. I remember vividly thinking how out of touch with reality do you have to be to have such a belief? I am still occasionally haunted by this stranger. Fellas. A friend of mine in college was absolutely shocked when I and several other friends pulled out our childhood hometown public library cards at dinner one night. She could not fathom that all of our families went to the library regularly when we were growing up and that this is an extremely common experience for a lot of people. When I asked her what she did when she wanted to read books growing up, she said my family just bought them all. My balls are extra big because I need to pee this is from a 23 year old man. Who didn't know that pee ice and stored in the balls? Wharton students were interviewed asking what they though the average income was. 25% said 6 figures. The same question was asked at a local community college and the collective agreement was $15,000 linked to Twitter thread. A few years ago we were house hunting. And for some reason we started looking at the median income for each neighborhood around us. It was an eye opening experience. My EXS mum believed that during Easter ghosts can travel between our world and the spirit world. She legit started seeing and hearing them because she thought her apartment and her spiritual personality attracted them. She hyped herself up so much that she had to leave her apartment for a couple of days and seek refuge at her sister's house. She didn't bring her cat with her. I suppose she thought the ghosts would feed him. She must be mad. That's your fault that I'm drinking. My alcoholic father. Upside down face. People wonder why there are isn't more eyewitness accounts of 9-11 because surely everyone just pulled out their phones? Beach please. Back in 2001 most people were still using 35mm film cameras. Camcorders were usually VHS and digital ones were not cheap in the slightest. And the US was behind the curve on cellular technology anyway. I was in the US a few months before 9-11 and even in New York people didn't understand what SMS was let alone had a phone compatible or were using it. Me. Telling someone I'm a type 1 diabetic rondo. You shouldn't have eaten so much sugar as a child also. Are you still diabetic p? A. At a checkup plus the limitless amount of cures people have for this incurable disease.